Welcome to episode one of the 100 Baby Challenge Alien Edition Season 2. So if you are new to my channel, what's up? My name is Tori and I play The Sims. I do some other videos too, but mostly The Sims. And you don't have to watch Season 1 if you are new coming in because it's a new person and a new save and all that. The only thing is from Season 1 is that we have Starlin, who is the original matriarch, but in this current season, Piper, who is this girl right here, will be the one who's going to be having all the babies. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a 100 baby challenge. Uh, things did get more interesting because I'm sure that you all are aware of the new toddler update, which should make things a little bit more complicated. So that should be fun. Um, anyways, this season we will be playing in San Myshuno. We are in the art district as I'm sure you can tell down here in the small, I believe it's the smallest penthouse lot that's available. I did build this house and I did make a speed build of it but I accidentally deleted the footage so there is no speed build for it. So let's have a little uh, tour I guess through here. It is kind of industrial inspired. Um, let's, I'll show you the layout really quick. So anyways, here is the layout of the house. We have a balcony over here that currently is empty. We have a balcony over here that has some planter boxes, a monkey bar set, and a punching bag. This is the room that you enter in. We have our mailbox and, or no, our garbage can and our mailbox here. Um, we have a downstairs bathroom here. And then this room is the toddler, or I mean the um, teen room, but I think I'm going to switch this and make it the toddler room because we are going to have a lot of babies and I feel like it'll be easier for them because they have a bunch of stuff down here and like the food and things. I just feel like it'll make things easier to have them all on the bottom floor. Over here we have a little living room set up. Um, there's a lot of brick in this place. Oh, that's really weird. Oh, um, it's not supposed to be like this. I painted these walls blue and for some reason it's like didn't save it. That's very weird because this is all supposed to be blue like that and then this whole wall was blue as well. Weird. Um, okay, anyways, <laughs> so we have a little, um, we have a little living room set up here, a little dining room set up over here. This opens up onto the balcony, obviously. This is our kitchen. It's like kind of a little, well, I mean, it's a pretty big kitchen, kind of galley style in a way. We have a little cutout window into this area here. We have set up some toddler stuff a little toy chest, a computer, then this door obviously goes out to this balcony. If you go upstairs, we have a small little landing area, a room, oh, I didn't realize that was cutting through the wall, hmm, man, unprepared and unprofessional I guess, that's just me. There we go, that's a little bit better. We have a child and toddler room here, three child beds, three toddler beds. I would like to do a separate room for them, but we only had about 105,000 simoleons, which wasn't a lot. So, and I wanted to make sure we had some money in there for rent. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to do too much. And that's why the rooms are kind of empty. We have a bathroom. This will be Starlin's room here. Uh, it's pretty simple, a uh, master ensuite, and then this is Piper's room, this little room here. So her mom does have like a bigger room than she does, but she has her own bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and have her claim her bed. I'm going to have her claim her bed. And I'm not going to worry about the toddler room and the teen room right now. Um, I'm just going to have them claim their beds and call it good for right now because 
I just want to get into it. So once we, want, I'll probably change it in the next part and have the room switch, but for right now, it'll be okay. So I guess the very first thing we should do is go see if we can't get Piper pregnant. So let's go down, whoa, where am I? Let's go down here and see who we can run into. Uh, we'll talk to this guy. Let's do friendly introduction. Come back, sir. Rory, move. You're in the way. Thank you. All right. Uh, apparently he left us. So let's just go. Let's just go down here and order some food just to be down here. Let's get pork. Ob, what is it? Abad, abadot, abad, 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 I don't know. Um, just to introduce you to the other characters here, in case you're unfamiliar, we have Starlin, who is an elder now. Um, she is a full-blown alien, and she moved to Earth to... I'll show you her disguise form, too. Uh, she moved to Earth to kind of conquer the human race initially, and to take over the planet. She is evil. She is evil, but... In the meantime, she had a lot of kids. I think we ended up having 24 children in the first generation, which isn't bad. And we actually had more, but some of them got like called. It's called calling when the game deletes them. And so I kind of lost track of them. So we just don't count them. But yeah, anyway, she kind of fell in love with her family. And even though she planned for world domination, uh, she's kind of left those evil ways behind her and is just happy to have her kids. Uh, we have Piper who is the current LP uh, matriarch, I guess. And Piper is a perfectionist, a romantic, a genius, and she's domestic, and she wants to have a successful lineage, which those traits were all randomized, which is pretty awesome, I think, because they work uh, pretty well for us. And she is also a full alien, and I don't think it'll show her dad, yeah, because we started a new save file. Uh, we have Kiana up here who is actually twins with Quinn. They are twins and they both are basically just kind of too young to move out on their own. So they moved with us. And then we have Rory who obviously is a child. So he also moved with us. And these are all Piper siblings. So they will be moving out as soon as they are able to. And I'm not sure exactly how the whole toddler situation is going to affect the game because I haven't looked at it yet. But we're not going to have a toddler right now, so I wasn't like super worried about it. But we will have to look into that. Oh, she closed on us. Well, that's okay. There's a guy right here. So let's friendly introduce ourselves to him. There's also a guy here and here. We'll talk to them. Oh, good. She gave us our food. I was worried that she wasn't going to give us any of our food. That's a lady. Oh, she's not in her disguise. I didn't even think about it. Uh-oh. Um, I guess disguise self. It's a little late now. They're going to just watch her do it. And there's her disguise. I wanted her to look pretty much like herself, but human... Uh, let's introduce ourselves to this guy. She's so embarrassed now. I feel bad. That's okay. We just need your babies. We don't need you to like us. Um, let's discuss. Oh, he's ditching. Are you going to talk to us? Discuss interests and chat about property values. Come on. Oh, there's a guy. Hi, dude. Hello, sir. Uh, let's friendly introduce ourselves to him. And she's like fresh to the game. No skills, no special traits. So we are, we're doing it the old fashioned difficult way now. 
Okay, as soon as she's done eating, I'm actually going to come over here and I'm going to have her buy some produce because I found out that you can buy blackberries from this stall and that is going to be where we're going to make the bulk of our money. We are going to have her write too, but writing takes a lot of time and since she is going to be having a lot of babies, which will turn into toddlers, which are very difficult to take care of, um, we're going to definitely want to have some other way to earn money. So we're going to get... I guess 10 of these sure that'll be good and her mom is actually oh he's at our house go home let's uh, invite neighbors in congratulations pipers oh the food yeah if you don't know if you eat food around town, you can learn the recipes. Starling, quit being mean to them. We need them to like us. Why don't you come plant these things? Hold on. I'll, I'll bring them out here for you. We can actually get even more of them. I didn't think we had enough room, but we definitely do. I guess I should have probably mathed before I, uh, <laughs> before I bought them, but that's okay. We'll buy some more. Uh, if you didn't watch the season one, Starlin is a very accomplished gardener. She's a She's really accomplished in cooking, painting, and she's not, I don't think she has a full 10 gardening, but she's got a six, and she had a really big garden back home at their old home, so we're going to go ahead and have her earn us some money that way. Okay, but you're talking to the one lady who can't get you pregnant, so thank this guy for coming. Self-deprecating joke. Thank that guy for coming. He's like straight out the 70s with his outfit and his afro. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and just talk to him. He's kind of a jerk, isn't he? Uh, gossip about neighbors. Ask about food. I don't know. And these girls need to get their grades to an A in order to be aged up and moved out of the house. That's how we have to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and have them do that. Because we need to cycle through as many people as possible in our home to get as many babies as possible. So let's talk to this guy. Just be funny. That tends to work. She's still feeling pretty embarrassed, so I feel like that's kind of affecting her abilities to communicate. Or this guy's kind of a jerk. One of the two. I don't know which one it is. Don't leave! Discuss interest. Come on. Ask about day. Tell a joke about ducks. It could be because he knows we're an, al we're an alien too, which, you know, might not be the best way to start a relationship with him. Chat about property values. Ugh, you just don't like us, do you, guy? I just need you to like me enough that I can flirt with you. Let's uh, compliment his appearance and see how he takes it. Maybe throw in a flirt. She also has to pee, which isn't going to be great. Oh, he's liking the flirting. Okay, go pee really quick. And then come back and flirt some more. Flirt. And compliment his appearance again. Those are always safe. And then maybe, em maybe embracing him is a little too soon. Pick up line. Rory, why don't you go take a shower? You can go take a shower and eat. You can eat. Okay, so he's digging the flirts. That's always good. Kiss his hands. Sexy pose. Hope you like your fruitcake. Cool. Thanks for the food, dude. First kiss, maybe? It seems to work. It seems to work. Okay, let's 
embrace him. And if you don't know how the 100 baby challenge works, basically you have one or well multiple generations if you need to. Try to have 100 babies. You can age them up um, when they reach a level A, when they're in high school and grade school. I'm not sure about toddlers. I'm still like, I need to look that up. Uh, babies, you can age up after their birthday warning, like after it says it's almost their birthday. Or no, it says it is their birthday in a couple days. That's when you can age them up. And then you can have the heir earn money or the matriarch earn money through like cooking or, or like whatever they can sell their stuff, paintings, writing, sell their food at like a booth, whatever they can do, but they can't have a job, if that makes sense. So that's how we earn money is through gardening. Uh, Starlin is also an excellent painter. I'm going to go ha have her paint, or I mean water, have her water these. And so basically the main goal of the challenge is just to have a bunch of babies. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Try for baby. No. You have a duty to your mother's legacy to have children. And they also can't get married. They can have boyfriends. Um, we're so lucky to have great neighbors. Yeah, I bet. Uh, they can have boyfriends, but they cannot get married. And obviously, you can have girlfriends, too, if you want. But it kind of defeats the purpose because you can't really procreate with another female. Um, you can if you go in and, like, change them. Like, you can change their gender options. But it's just too much of a hassle. So we'll stick to males just so that we can continue the challenge. So let's see if uh, she gets pregnant. She kind of has a Jessica Rabbit, like an edgy Jessica Rabbit vibe that I dig. Oh, and as for the babies, I figured I could just stick them in Starlin's room for now and let her help take care of them. Let's take a pregnancy test. And we are pregnant with the first baby. That's so exciting. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay cool cool beans um i guess we'll go ahead and have her come downstairs and get to writing let's get you off of here you actually can did you finish your homework yeah put that in your inventory and then we will she needs to work and get a skill to level three she's working on her fitness so we can go ahead out here and do the punching bag and then kiana is actually all caught up so she can go ahead and just watch uh watch a movie don't care what movie you want to watch starlin you can go to the bathroom and then we actually need you to get to painting or something for us because i'm really worried about not having enough money to pay the bills that is definitely a concern so i kind of feel like since we are so close to finishing the alphabet that we should finish it before we start naming the kids anything else. So we're on R. So if you guys want to leave your QR, yeah, if you guys want to leave S names in the comments down below for the baby, that would be cool. And I think we have the lot trait of being on the ley line, which will make us have a higher chance of conceiving multiples. Um, oh, no, we don't. So let's go ahead and put that in. We'll put good schools. That'll help us with aging kids up. We'll put, oh, wait, whoa, what? On a dark ley line, the dark energy here has an impact in all nocturnal activities. You can expect babies conceived here that require extra care with teething. <gasps> oh, vampire, st oh, oh, okay. That is so cool, vampire nexus. A dark void envelops this lot in the upside down. Vampires are more likely to visit this area. So like, like um stranger things the upside down that's funny registered vampire lair the lots the lot registers as a vampire lair the league will send various gifts from time to time through the mail no less even the immortals use the public mail service only available at home residences that's cool uh but we don't want more a higher chance of getting vampires because we're doing aliens i could do a vampire baby challenge that could be fun Tell me if you guys are into that. Vampire baby challenge. 
Um, anyways, on the ley line is full of funky, fertile energy. Twins are more are born here more often than not. That'll help us. And let's also do child's play because that'll help kids learn faster and that'll be great. So there we go. Lot traits are a check. So she's working on a book. We're going to go ahead and have Starlin. She's feeling really tired, but we're going to have her come upstairs and maybe whip out a small painting. Can you make us a small abstract painting before you go to sleep? That would be good. Um, Rory, your sister is busy. You need to work on getting a skill to level four. It looks like your social is the highest. Why don't you come talk to Kiana? Quote cartoon character, talk about school. Um, I don't know, discuss, at, blah, 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 discuss atmospheric pressure. Wait, seriously? She's not even tired. Did she fall asleep from boredom from that movie? That was weird, cause she wasn't even tired. What the heck? Um, let's reset her. Very weird. Let's go ahead and talk to her before she falls asleep from boredom, apparently. Discuss brain power, ask about day, talk about school. We just need to get him to talk to her to get his skill up. Quinn, how are you going here? Still need to get it to level three. Uh, you're on level two. When you're done eating, you can probably punch some more. Push the limits punching. I wish there was a way we could make pregnancy go faster. I know there's not. She's gonna be in her second trimester in about a day. So it's not too long. Should be interesting to see how toddlers affect the challenge because they're hard. I haven't played with them for very long, but it's enough to know that they are a challenging little thing. So having a lot of them should be interesting. going to go send Rory to bed. Quinn's getting pretty tired. I'll, I'll be nice. I'll send her to bed too. And you actually need to take a shower and a bath or a a shower and go to the bathroom. I mean, I guess you could take a shower and a bath if you wanted to, but it's kind of like, what's the point? Let's go ahead and put this food away. Put this in here. Uh, Starlin is actually going to die soon, which is sad. I mean, she has a little bit of time. She has a little bit of time, but um, yeah, she's going to die soon, and that's something we need to account for because she makes the bulk of our money, and she's also the one that cooks. So Piper really needs to step up to the plate here. I'm um, getting her writing, which is good. She's level three. That'll earn us some money. I've got to get her into gardening so that she can take over the blackberries, which are growing here. Um, I'd like to get some dragon fruit too because they make quite a bit of money. Um, we also need her to learn how to cook and she's actually feeling hungry. So maybe we'll have her do that now. We'll have her cook and have her make um, just a garden salad because I don't know what her cooking skill is. She has zero cooking skill, so we definitely don't want her to burn the house down. So come make a salad to start us out in you learning how to cook, if you would, please. All right, guys. Well, I think we're well on our way. In the first episode, we're already pregnant. She's working on writing and learning how to cook. Uh, these guys are getting their skills up. I think that they should be close. Um, yeah, K Quinn, Kiana, not so much. Quinn is close to getting an A. She's just got to get her skill up. And Rory also is close to getting an A and just has to get his skill up. So we are doing well so far. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call that a part. Please make sure you leave your R baby names in the comments below. If you didn't watch the first season, we're naming the babies in alphabetical order. So we're on the letter R right now. Uh, so leave them down below. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and go. As always, thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.